courageous, intelligent, uh, and caring. Funny, real funny. Um, uh, always active, um, motivational. I would do anything for him to come back. My uncle was shot eight times on 69th and Ashland. He was the baby of the family. My favorite memory with DJ was when he had bought me my first basketball. Uh, um, I needed, uh, I was real hungry. It was on a summer day, it was nighttime, well, not it was daytime. Um, the ice cream truck I pulled up. So I really wanted some ice cream, so I chased the ice cream in, begging him for, uh, to give me some ice cream. I had no money. So he came down the street, all the way from um, his house, um, gave me the money, gave me the ice cream, uh, bought me uh, more than enough ice cream. I used to uh, make sure I was straight. That's my favorite memory because I would never forget that day. This is the last time I seen him. We used to go to the beach. Um, he took us to the park. And to hear the news that I heard, it was very upsetting. It was devastating. Specifically in Chicago, just, you know, tone it down with the gun violence. I know it's not gonna change um, in a little amount of time, but gradually we could change. I hope that, like, people would just use their brains and put the guns down. I was just talking with one of my little ones, um, the one that passed away. Uh, this is about two years ago. Um, back in the day, uh, the world, it wasn't, it wasn't condoned so much gun violence. It was, I want to say it was, it wasn't a safe world, but right now I got, I, I get scared to just walk, walk into the store, anything can happen as far as gun violence. I feel like gun violence needs to be changed, it needs to be limited, especially in the city of Chicago, but throughout the world. Because if they were in our footsteps or in my footsteps, they would feel the same way. I don't, I really don't know what I could have said to him. It was real. It was really unexpected. I love you. Something that I wish that I would have said to them is, I love you, and I'll see you soon.